Jesus is never coming back. A book that holds so much value, but it lost its value because of your masters. The Bible. It has many versions, but it only has one translation. That translation is not the translation that Christianity or the churches are giving you. Jesus' resurrection was something much bigger than someone coming to life and being lifted into the sky. With the answer on how to behave with each other, with the answer of who Jesus is, with the answer of who the devil actually is, the Bible holds a lot of truth, but it's not the correct translation that you're being given by your masters. And if you want to know how to actually understand the Bible, stick around because I'm going to give you the actual translation. And trust me, this is not for the sheep. This is for people who want to wake up. So if you're a sheep, you could just keep going along. This is not for you. The Bible story of the ascension of God suggests that a man rose from the dead and then lifted himself up to the sky where he disappeared into the clouds. When the f is he going? What Christianity is trying to make people believe is that there was a man that rose from the dead, and then he just flew into the sky and disappeared. That is completely wrong, and that's a misinterpretation of the Bible. You're being lied to. And the only way they can make you believe this nonsense is by telling you the story during the same years they tell you Santa was real and the Tooth Fairy was real. That is nonsense. And you know what? The Tooth Fairy actually <laughs> owes me some money. I don't think I'm gonna get that money just like Christians are not gonna get the resurrection of Christ. <laughs> ha -ha. This story is a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up, let it go, grow up. Because hypothetically, if there is a 30 year old man who has never heard that story and you tell that man that story, he would tell you to go yourself. Well, the only reason people don't argue with that story is because they tell every single person in this planet that story and they make sure they tell you that story during your early ages. Now, let me set the record straight. I do believe in the Bible, number one, and I do believe in Jesus. I just know that Christianity is completely wrong. Now, I'll bring science into this video just to set the record straight. Two things that science says, especially quantum mechanics, science says two things. Everything in this universe is made out of energy. That includes the human body, that includes this camera in front of me, that includes you, planet Earth, everything in existence, 99.99% energy. Now, fact number two is that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So if energy cannot be created nor destroyed, that would suggest that you existed prior to being here on earth. Now, with that being said, there are two definitions to Jesus' resurrection. Jesus' resurrection wasn't him coming back to life after death. Jesus' resurrection was when he died, he returned to life because we came from somewhere. We didn't just appear here because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. That would suggest that we existed prior to earth. We went from one state of consciousness to another state of consciousness. When Jesus died, he went back home. As the story says, he rose into the sky and returned back home to God. And that is exactly what happens when you die. Jesus' resurrection was him going back home to God. Now, there's another definition. Romans 8.10 and Romans 8.11 both suggest that Christ and Jesus, they dwell inside of you. Jesus is already inside of you, is within you. Now, you want to resurrect Jesus? Well, he is coming back. Jesus is actually coming back, but he's waiting on us because Jesus' resurrection is when we become like Jesus and he resurrects inside of us. To become like Jesus and to resurrect Jesus, to bring Jesus Christ back to life, we have to do three things. Number one is be patient and loving. As you're patient and loving, we create peace in this world because we cannot wait for a man to come back from the dead because that will never happen, Christians. Wake the f up. That will never happen. We can't wait for that. So we have to do it ourselves because the Bible says that Christ exists inside of us. So if you want to resurrect Jesus, be more loving and patient. Number two is humility. Be humble. I know I'm not being humble in this video, but I'm tired of you guys. And number three is be more compassionate. As you follow those principles, as the Bible says, Romans 8, 10, 8, 11, he who dwells inside of you 
is coming back to life. And when he comes back to life, when he returns back, that's when we are going to create world peace. And again, the Bible does hold the truth, but not Christianity. If you're waiting to wake up and want to know the true nature of reality, follow me, share this video, and follow my journey.